Okay, awesome. Um, well, I, yeah, here, here, here he comes. Um, I would just say I'm super proud of our team. Like early in the season, especially this early, um, there's going to be some really good things, there's going to be some really bad things, and there's going to be a whole lot in the middle. Um, and I thought we were pretty typical. I thought in spurts we did some really, really good things in transition defensively in spurts. We were really good. Um, you know, and then we were not so good in, in spurts as well, but that's okay. You know, as long as we continue to learn and grow and attack those areas that weren't, you know, as sharp as we wanted them to be, then we're going to be just fine. But proud that everyone got to play and um, just a really great night. It's funny you describe it that way because I thought not a good start, not a good finish, but everything in the middle was, yeah. was pretty good. Yeah. You know, what would you like the most about what your team did tonight? I love that everyone played, and I thought everyone that came in the game gave tremendous effort. Um, no one was perfect, you know, offensively or defensively, but I thought our effort, until we fatigued, when we fatigued, um, you know, some of us I thought fatigued pretty hard, um, but I thought our effort was really, really good. Um, and we've been talking about that a lot, controlling the controllables, um, you know, and that's certainly something that we're in control of every night. And, um, yeah, it was just, I thought that was probably the best thing that we did. I thought our defensive effort was pretty good in the middle as well. Um. She returned tonight, she returned tonight. So can you talk about their returns? Yeah, I mean, I just said that in the locker room, you know, when we were done singing the fight song, I just said, I just wanted to give a special shout out to both of them, you know, starting with Mara, though it takes a lot of courage, you know, to do what both of them are doing. But Mara has been through, you know, multiple major surgeries and has never backed down and has never shied away from, you know, kicking but in the training room and just she has worked unbelievably hard for these opportunities and her teammates you know are proud of her i'm proud of her and i know you know she and her family are also proud too and then jay coming off a, also a major hip surgery i mean not everyone can recover like that um you know but jay's i mean jaylen's jaylen i just say you know <laughs> she's she's pretty remarkable athletically and you know clearly hasn't skipped a beat um, you know, with her speed and, and tenaciousness on defense, and um, I thought they did really well. So, Jay, I'll start with you. How did you feel? I mean, not only being back on the court, but, you know, did you feel, like, just healthier and not as in pain? Oh, yeah, I think this game I went through pretty pretty smooth. I think it was uh, – I don't know. I, I think in practice we've been pushing it as well, so uh, it just carried over to the game. But I felt pretty healthy. I wasn't in um, – any pain, to be completely honest, and yeah, I mean, it was it was just fun to be back out there. So. Yeah, for you, I mean, it's been you know so long. I heard, heard like it's been so long since you played the game. Um, was that nice, just kind of being with your teammates on on the court? And the other <coughs> yeah, it was. I just actually told Coach, I was like, I was kind of nervous when I when first started because it was like it's my first time back playing since January, and it's also my first time playing in front of people since two years ago, a year and a half ago. So it was just more so like focusing in. I had my teammates to support me. I had my coaches to support me. So it was pretty smooth transition. And Mar, how about for you? I mean, for oh. three and a half years or so, yeah. <laughs> you haven't played in the game. Oh. So um, yeah. how did that feel? Just, you know, who cares about the stats, right? The minutes is probably the big stat for you tonight. Yeah, I mean, I had adrenaline kicking this morning. <laughs> I was nervous and shoot around uh, just, but I mean, it, was, it ended up being really good, I thought. Um, I mean, I was cheesing very hard when I got in. I got all <laughs> blushy face. So my team was hyping me up. So they made it really easy for me. And then, like Jalen said, um, you know, we've been going hard in practice. So then that kind of related onto the court. And so then it was like, OK, like, I've, I've been playing basketball, just not like this type of basketball. So it was kind of easy to get back into. But yeah, I was, I was nervous. Um, but it was like good nervous. It was good butterflies. Where are your basketball legs right now? Because you, know, you play practice, but you have not played yeah. the game in so long. Um, I mean, I fatigue, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I mean, it's hard coming off of leg surgery, any surgery, but especially leg surgery, your first thing to go is your, like you atrophy so badly in your legs. Um, so to get those back and then to get your lungs back and then to get them together <laughs> on one page, that's it's kind of difficult. But I mean, it's, it's a day-by-day -day process that we're all working on, and yeah. Mara also is, is really tough. Like, so she'll fatigue, but even when she fatigues, she doesn't quit. You know, so you, I can see it, you know, it, it, after a couple minutes, you start to get tired, but she'll never, she always kind of digs in and sucks it up and keeps going, um, which I think is probably a testament to how much recovery she's had to, you know, she's very mentally tough. She did a nice job in passing. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Woo, that's beautiful. <laughs> what, what did you think of, like, how she played? I thought she did great. I really did. You know, that first pass, you know, out of the high post, 
Um, you know, just calm, cool, collected. I, I thought she did great. Effort was great. Rebounding, um, running the floor, you know, just all of it. Just fantastic. And Jalen, just get your comment on Mara. I mean, you've been here and you've seen her going through all this stuff. And so you haven't been through a, a major surgery of your own. Could you imagine going through multiple and sitting out for three years? Oh, yeah, Mara's, Mara's probably one of the toughest people I know. I mean, she comes in every day. Even when she was recovering, she would come in, um, be vocal in practice. She would be in the moment. She would be working her um, – Working recovery, and she just always she just always stayed in the moment. So you you just appreciate people that like when they're going through their own stuff, and then they still find a way to put the team first. And that's what Mar has done these past three years. I mean, coming in, we came in together, and for her to finally be able to play, I mean, it's a good moment for all of us. I think. Yeah. Appreciate you. And she was throwing dimes today. <laughs> she was throwing dimes today for sure. So, uh, Jalen, uh, your thought as one of the kind of older players now on this team, <laughs> how do you feel about um, just kind of how this team went out there the first game and um, just I know it's exhibition, but the way you guys kind of put a product out there, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I think we have a lot of things we need to work on, but I do think we did some pretty good things. I think um, everybody brought something to the floor different, and it kind of for the first time, I think it kind of gelled together um, today against somebody else, playing somebody else. So I think um, just we're finding that synergy, and I, I see it connecting, and I see it coming together. And I think from the bench energy to the players that was on the floor, it was just always energetic, and it was always a good time. And I think if we can keep that going, when we hit those hard moments in the future, it'll be easier for us to bring ourselves out of it, knowing that we can depend and lean on each other. Uh, the last time you guys played in front of fans was Vegas, right? Yes. Two years ago? Back 12 tournament? Yeah. Well, in the well, NIT, we had fans, but. But, I mean, it's been that long. It was funny when I was sitting yeah. down there and watching. I mean, I was watching from up top, too, and there were only a handful of fans in here last year. What was it like to have that energy back in the building and be able to, you know, I, don't, I know, I know uh, Mar, it, you could play in front of just a handful of fans, <laughs> but I, I guess probably more. For you, Jay, what was it like to have the fans back? Uh, I mean, they just bring a great atmosphere every time you see people who consistently consistently come to games. I mean, it just it just feels good. You know, you get to speak to them after, and you wave to them, and it's just good. I know Kendall's family was here, Mara's family was here, so it was just good to see family and people who have been supporting for so long actually being able to come back and see us play um, – in, in real life action, I think is good for everybody. It just brings like, it makes basketball season feel whole again, I guess, <laughs> to yeah. be completely honest. Next time you're home is uh, November 19th though. You've got, now you guys have to go play on the road. You haven't yeah. done, I don't think you've done that since you've been here to start the season. Open on the road, yeah. So our first two games are um, at Oklahoma State, at Air Force, uh, both really good, tough teams. Um, and then Marquette at home. So no, no, not an easy start, uh, but we get you know a good week to prep, practice and prepare for Oklahoma State, and we'll be ready. All right, all right. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.